Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to Hands On with BLG. I'm BLG. I am Lefty. And I am Righty. Today, we got a request. Well, not today. We got a request a couple days ago to play with the Elite uh, um, Toaster Oven again. It's a convection toaster oven. And uh, got a request to use the rotisserie. Let's try this out, shall we? <laughs> so I've got here a pork roast. Right, y'all? And uh, had to kind of work around the bone. So as you can see, it's not pushed all the way on here yet. But I'm going to shove this in here the best I can up onto these uh, little rotisserie fork things, you see? We get up here. I'm thinking a tenderloin would be easier. But this is what LAT the mama bought. This is what I'm going to use. So, so give me some more grip. So far, so good. It's, kind of, it's going on the stick here. I'm going to take this stick through here. And I'm going to stab this, if it will. Sure will. Okay, so I can loosen this. What I want to do is get it centered. So I'm going to back this one off to about here. Tighten it up. I'm going to loosen this one. There's little screws you see right here. Little screws, can you see that? Little screw? Yeah. And I'm going to slide this this way. Slide this that way. Stick him on here. Stickity stick. Like so. We got a little rotisserie thingy. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. We'll see if that will turn. Now what I want to do. This is, I don't know how big it is. It's just a pork, pork, oh, it's a 2.74 pound uh, pork butt roast, which actually comes from the shoulder, the front shoulder. Okay, now let's do some pepper. We'll season them all up on all sides, like so. Put some salt on this side. Like so. And, of course, the old usual that we always do because it tastes good. <laughs> A little garlic powder up on chow. On this side. A little onion powder up on this side. Like so. Alright. See if it'll sit on this end. It will. A little pepper. Mm-hmm. Like so. <laughs> A little salt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the same old thing. A little onion. A little garlic. That's the garlic. Here comes the onion. Backside over jaw. It's a little heavy on one side. I'm hoping it'll turn. Because there's a bone in this roast. You're better to get something like a loin that doesn't have a bone in it. But working with what we got, baby. So we'll see. It should still rotate. <laughs> About to find out. <laughs> and we'll get this side. A little pepper. A little salt. Okay. A little garlic. Boom! Little onion. Boom! All set. Now, I'm going to bring it over here. And, uh, we'll go from there, man. <laughs> okay. So, basically, here's how the Elite uh, Convection Toaster Oven is set up. You have, let's go inside the oven here. I have a heating element here. You have a heating element here. Over here you have your convection fan. Right y'all. Convection fan. Now what's cool about this, for cooking on the top, up here you have a heating element and a heating element over here too. Okay. So you basically have two heating elements down, two up. That's why this can be a broiler also. It uses these two top ones here and here. So what we want to do to do this roast 
is take this tray, the bottom actual tray, put it down here at the very bottom like that. Right? I want to see if we can try to stab this thing where you guys can kind of see up in here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Turn you this way. I'm trying to see <laughs> in here. Oh, that's another thing. Here's the drive side of your rotisserie right there. Uh, this is your drive side. It's just squared. That would go in first. This little groove right here. Not this big one. This little one right here. That, if you can see it, and that will rest in this little groove right here. There's a little bitty groove right here. And the rest of the thing sticks out like that. That'll sit there. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, let's see if we can stab this in here. I've got it all took apart right now. Basically, so you can see, but it allows me to reach through the top <laughs> over here. Try to get this stabbed in to its square over here. And then you just bring it back to that little notch right here. Here it is through the top. See how that little square thing drives into there? And on this side, it's kind of hard to see, but just that little bitty groove on the end of the stick. Right, oh, you're looking down. Just this little bitty groove, where am I pointing? On the end of the stick right here, is sitting in there. So there we have that, okay? I'm gonna close this part, move this out of the way, you get out of the way, <laughs> turn it back this way. Now, I wanna see if this thing's gonna turn. I'm gonna plug it in real quick. <laughs> I want to see if it's going to rotisserize the way it should because there's a bone in there. It's not perfectly balanced. You know what I mean? You want to try on a rotisserie to get things just right so that they turn good and whatnot. So I'm going to set this to rotisserie 350. I want to see if it goes one full rotation. It looks like it's going to do just fine. Make sure it's not hitting any of the Burners, yeah, it does not care if it's off balance just a little bit. Okay, that's good. So, we're going to go, rot come here. <laughs> we're going to go rotisserie. So you got keep warm. You got broil, that's your broiler for doing steak and stuff. Rotisserie, convection toast for toasting things like pizza, and convection bake. We want rotisserie. I'm going to go with 350 degrees. Right up here, 350. And I'm going to set this for probably, as a guess, I'm going to go 50 minutes and see how that goes. <clears throat> so we're going to do this first, okay? Now, I'm going to put the top on it. There's our top tray right here. We're going to put this in here like that. And as you can see, the top tray, you have a griddle. Griddle over here, and you have a little plancha, a little flat top surface here, right? So we're going to let that sit and do its thing. Um, I don't know if that's going to get hot enough to uh, fry on yet, so I'm going to let that warm up a little bit. And we'll work on it from there, okay? No. Here's the lid up here, just like that. See? Now, if I wanted to, I could take like a, uh, I don't have one handy. I don't know where the hell it went. It's over here. I could take a small casserole of corn or something and just set it in here, right? A little bit of water, a little corn. Some, uh, some vegetables, uh, broccoli with a little water, anything with a little bit of water in it. Like that, just set it in here, let that go, see? But that's not what I want to do with it. <laughs> I want to show off the real power, the true power <laughs> of what this thing can do. And I'm going to do Taylor's and onions. I think I can go ahead and do that, but I'm going to let this warm up for a little bit. I'll see you back here when this thing comes up to 350. And I'm going to try the Taylor's and onions while this little bad boy in here is going round and round, you see? 
Yeah, yeah, see? Ran and ran. I'm going to take a picture and I'll see you in a few. Okay, folks, it's kind of heating up. The upper, uh, the upper two heaters are red, nice and hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of oil in the top here. A little bit of oil up here. I'm going to put my taters and onions in here. Hear them sizzle. Put these right up in here. Ah, dash of salt. Dash of pepper. Just like so. Just like any good taters and onions should have. Alright? Stir these around in the oil here. Spread out. Spread out. Yep, stir these around. Just like so. Get them all nicely coated. Keep them from sticking around and burning down. Like so. Looks good, yeah? There we go. I'm going to check on these from time to time and give them a little stir. And spread them out. Spread out. Like that. There they go. I'm gonna let these sit. That just had to heat up. I let it heat up for about um five minutes <laughs> before I put on the taters. And here they go. Now we've got taters going on the top, and we got our rotisserie rotisserizing inside of here. Round and round, baby. See it? Yeah. So, now we're just going to check on the potatoes every now and then. Let her do her thing. Yep. See you in a few. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we stir our taters. I'm going about every, say about every six minutes, giving our taters a little scrape and stir here. They're looking pretty good so far, yeah. Liking the look of that. Scrape and stir, shift them around some. We just want to let these go until they're all just fried tender. The onions are already pretty good looking. Not too shabby, yeah. Just kind of give them a little scrapey in the stir. A little bit might stick. I mean, what do you expect? This thing's not brand new. So some of them will stick is a little wore off on the top here and then the trays and stuff. Don't worry about that. Ain't no big deal. Toss that back in. Get in there. Back in the pool. Go back for a ride. I'm flipping things. <laughs> well, give them a nice little stir around. Boom. Toss this little fella back in. Cover him up. We're not on broil or anything. Just on, just, just using the heat from the top burner. I don't know if you can see the top burner. Let me see. You probably can. See it up in there? It's all red. They're red. The ones underneath on the bottom. See down here on the bottom? They're not really all that red. So it's just using these top two for the rotisserie, see? I didn't know that. That's cool. <laughs> so it's kind of in semi-broiler mode, I guess. I guess you wouldn't need the bottom ones because the rotisserie, because the thing's up closer to the top two. Excellent. <laughs> I've got 40 minutes to go on the rotisserie before I'm going to test and see how far we got. Like I said, no instructions. This didn't come with instructions, so I'm just going with taking it easy and uh, seeing how it goes <laughs> as far as timing and stuff. No, there's no white inside. That's one thing that I found that I won't really, I'm not too pleased with. It'd be nice if it had a little light bulb inside so you could see what's going on real clear. But other than that, I mean, I can't complain. It's doing its thing, baby. All right. We're going right? Yep, okay. Well, the taters and onions, they've been going for 20 minutes, okay? Not too shabby. I'm going to set this over here on the stove. So these, my friends, are finished. So what Lefty's going to do here is take Mr. Spatula, put them off of here into a plate or a bowl. He's going to put them in a bowl. <laughs> Right now, scrape this little bit, 
get the rest of this out of here, what I can of it. It's not, like I said, not going to get all, but going to get what I can. Okay, so now I have fried taters and onions all finished up. The roast is still turning very nicely. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in here, just a little bit up on here, like so. That's going to get warmed up here pretty quick, right? I'm going to turn mine <laughs> supper into breakfast. <laughs> I'm going to have breakfast for supper. That's right. So what I'm going to do is take me Mr. Egg here. Eh. Up and down right top. Scrape them all up here. Nice and together like. So, okay. Get some of them crunchies in there too. Fuck yeah, why not? You know what I'm talking about. I like the look of that. I'm going to smack the lid on here, uh, like this, for just a couple of minutes, a minute or two, something. We'll see what we come up with, yeah? <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty good. Okay. Take a peek at our egg. It is getting there. Mm-hmm. Looking pretty good, I must say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See if I can give it a little... Poke it and poke like that now. Yeah, we're getting there. Let that bad boy cook on up. Excellent. Excellent. Cover him up for a little more. I'm going for sunny side up, baby. <laughs> this is fun. Rotisserie still doing its rotisserie thing. Uh, we're going to have to... uh. Hash lefty again. We're going to have to reset the timer. We started at what, 50? We started at 50 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay? It smells fantastic in here. We've got 22, 24 minutes on the, on the timer left. You also do have the option, if you wanted to, and knew how long it was going to take or whatnot, to go from off, flip it one backwards, and this thing will stay on. See, it says stay on. It'll just come on and stay on at whatever temperature you set up here. It will do that if you want it to, if you know how long it takes. I don't know how long it's taken, so I'm going in timers so I don't burn the shit out of it by accident. <laughs> Let's take a look at our egg. How we looking? Just about, just about. Look at that egg. See that egg? That's looking sweet, baby. You can have some bacon over here on the grill if you wanted to, or some ham slices, whatever you wanted over there. But uh, I don't like bacon, and we don't have any bacon. I would have fried some up for the old lady, but L.A.G. the mama, she likes bacon. I don't. I made me a couple pieces of toast and butter. Look at that. Toast and butter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's going on the plate. Let's see what our egg looks like now. That's how I like my egg right there. Now let's see if I can stab the little bastard out of here. Should be able to. Uh, let me see if I can loosen him up. Come over to the other side, help. Oh, it needs a little more. Right through here I can see it. It needs a bit more. It's getting there, it's getting there. Making sure it's kind of loose. Oh yeah. I should be able to stab this little fart. Just a little more right there. And off this egg will come. Nicely done, sir. And put the lid back on. I want to give it maybe one more minute. One more minute on that egg there. See what we get. Scrambled eggs. You can scramble it if you want to. All that good stuff, of course. All in one. All in one, baby. All right, Mr. Egg. I've had about enough of you. <laughs> What do you say? We'll just go for it. Yeah. Out she goes and onto the plate. Mom's your uncle. 
Yes, I said mom. There we go. And I am done with this surface. But leave it there because that is also the lid. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Just don't, don't get me wrong on that. That's all done. You can do what it wants till the end of the cook time. I'll clean it up later. Alright? Put that back on. Just sit and wait for the beauty that's about to behold you. Because it is, too. Look at here so far. Wait a minute here. So far, I've got toast that I made in the toaster. But look here so far. We got our egg, we got our toast going so far. I can put, here, I can put some of these on here. Give me a spoon. Give me a spoon, Jack. Uh, I'm going to go over here and put, put me some American fries right here. Set that over here. <laughs> and now take a look. Now we've got the egg, American fries, and toast. Damn, Skippy, look at that. Beauty, huh? I'll turn that toast butter side up. Look how gorgeous that is. Yep, and now we're just waiting on that. See, it's going around in there. It's kind of hard to tell. It's going around, round and around. There it goes. That is another thing I do like about this. You can open the door a little bit, and it doesn't care. Okay, so I'll see you when the timer goes off. We'll temp this thing up and uh, reset it. Ah, I looked into the light. Don't look into the light. Up, <laughs> oh, the timer went off at 50 minutes. Let's see what we get for a temperature here. Like I said, it's kind of dark in here. Let's see, a big thick part. Right about here. Eh. We've got 92, 97, 99, 102. That's more than I thought it would be. We're about 104. 105. So we're about 105. We're looking for 155. We're going to close this little puppy back up. And I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go another 30 minutes. Okay? At the 350. Right there. 350. 30 more minutes. Right there. 30 more minutes. This little bad boy's been going around and around. The little bell just went ding! Let us have a look. I don't know if I can get better light in. Oh, not much. A little bit. Uh, well, let's have a look at that. Beauty, ain't it? Now, we're going to temp it out. We're looking for a minimum of 155. Stab this into the stick part, cha. 120, 130, 36, 39, 42. Come on, 147, 48, 49, 50, 51. 52, 53, come on baby, you can do it, 153.89, 154, and that will come up another degree or two as it rests, that is done folks, 155, it just hit, okay, so, now you've got this really cool little rack, or little handle thing here, See, that's got the little hooks on it. Whoa. See him? It says you can hook this. <laughs> uh, this is going to be interesting. Right here, you'll see where this little skinny part here is. And over here, there's a little skinny part over here. Allegedly, you can get under there, and it fits. And you can pick this up. Hey! Right. And it does work. It comes out. See, it grabbed it right there on the little hook thing. And right there on that little hook thing. Now I'm going to set that down on a board. I'm not going to touch these yet. Caliente. Okay? Don't touch the spigot things. These. I'm touching. I'm touching. They're hot. Caliente. I'm going to poke this tray back in here for now. Get back out of the way. Like so. Now, I'm going to take this and set it on the sink. I am going to get me a little bit of aluminum foil. And I'm going to lightly tint this just like this. I'm going to let this sit here, lightly tinted, like that. I'm going to let it sit there about 15 minutes. Okay, and we'll see you back here 15 minutes, folks. Alrighty, as you can see, it's been resting for about 10 minutes. 
this rod is still hot so what I'm going to try to do is hold it back with my thermometer here a little bit and pull this rod out using a pair of pliers <laughs> put it in the dish water to cool off and there we go I'm going to let this rest just a little bit longer no rod in it then we're going to carve that bitch up <laughs> see you in a few just showing you a little trick I undid the little screws eh 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 and I eased it out of there with the rod or with the pliers you see and then I eased the rod out using the pliers also <laughs> so we'll see you back here and that rests just a little bit a little bit more and we'll carve it up alrighty we're back folks <laughs> I am going to untent this nice steamy roast here and we're going to try to follow this bone see if I can debone this thing got me a nice sharp knife I'm going to try to follow this the best I can here. See where does this bone go to or where it doesn't. It should just curve around, I guess. Get the bone out. Piece of gristle right here. Here we go. Okay. And along the back here, there's another piece I'm not sure quite how to get. Got a big ass knife, that's for sure. Not messing around. Mm, here we go. Nice big slice here. And I'll just kind of work with what I can find for some little pieces. You dig? There's bone in that. That's not bone there. Dinko's looking at me. <laughs> can I go all the way across? Aye, that's warm. Probably should use carving forks. <laughs> would be a good idea for this. <laughs> Me? No, I'm too dumb for that. Why would I use carving forks? Hmm, hot. All right. We get the gist of it. There's the most of that. In fact, here, give me the foil. I'm just going to set that in the foil and wrap it up. I'll pick at this bone later. Mm hmm. Do something like this. Wrap this one up. Get it out of the way. Okay, now <laughs> I got my little slices here. Trying to keep my little meat in a little pile here. Slice this all up. Got some good meat and some good pieces there. I'm gonna take a piece of this. Just little chunks and pieces of what I'm looking for. I think the dingo can have that one. Nice little chunks and pieces. This is a bunch of fat right here with just a little bit of meat. That's just fat. We'll take that out of there. Now I'm going to slice small thin slices of this one. Look at that. Hmm? What do you think of that? This is all fat right here for the most part. No, it's not. Little, little piece of fat right there. It's really hot, Dingo. Now this nice big piece, I think what I'm going to do is cut it that way, come down through here, nice, like that, cut that, I'm going to leave that hole, <laughs> and then a little piece here, I guess we'll just go this way, just like so. Just like so. Boom. And that is carved up. Just like so. That is going to do it. Mmm. I must sample. No, it ain't. Hang on. I got to finish my plate. Mmm. My God, that's good. And you can see the perfect color in there. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, folks. What I'm going to do, take me some of these little pieces, like this, and I'm going to finish up my breakfast plate, just like so. Bingo! Look at this fucking breakfast plate. Let me get this all set up here for you. Um, I'll set it over here. Take a look at this breakfast plate, folks. Uh, 
Look at that. Breakfast for supper. That's what we're having. <laughs> Sunny side up egg on the rotisserie oven thing. American fries with onions on the rotisserie oven. <laughs> on the elite rotisserie oven. Pork butt. Rotisserie in the elite rotisserie oven. Pork butt. Rotisserie in the elite rotisserie oven. Now, let us set this up. You sit straight. Camera's loose. <laughs> See if we get a dingo approved. Dingo approved? He says, oi, approved, mate. <laughs> so that's it for rotisserie cooking and cooking on the top <laughs> by request of the elite convection rotisserie uh, stove top convection bake broiler <laughs> and toaster oven. <laughs> That's a long thing to say. Clean up right there. It was easy. It was a breeze, man. It didn't hardly take any time at all. So I hope you liked the episode, especially the one that that requested this. It was really fun to do. Thank you for the request. And I hope that uh, answered some of your questions and stuff. So I uh, hope it helped you out. So, for hands-on with BLG, car going by. For BLG, I am BLG. I am righty. <laughs> I am lefty. <laughs> On the dingo. Oi. G'day, mates. You all know what to do until next time, right? That's right, people. Peace out. Just cam the end and peace out. <laughs> Hands on with BLG. You never know what you will see. Oh, yes, sirree. Hands on with BLG. <laughs> Stick around and learn from me.